Thanks for inviting us in at 11 o'clock tonight. FDA advisors are now recommending the Pfizer COVID vaccine for young kids. So in our big story tonight, we've got reaction from local doctors and parents. We're also going to let you know how soon the other vaccines could be available for your child. But first tonight at 11, the final steps before kids are eligible for the Pfizer vaccine. Today, an FDA panel voted to recommend giving the Pfizer vaccine to kids between the ages of 5 and 11. But those shots won't be going into your child's arm just yet. Here's what's next. The full FDA is now considering that panel's recommendation. It's likely they will make that decision in the next few days. It's important to note the FDA is not bound by the panel's recommendation. There was one big change discussed today by the panel. Pfizer's dosage for kids between the ages of 5 and 11 is a third of the size compared to the other COVID vaccines. After young kids get the second dose, they develop virus-fighting antibody levels just as strong as teens and young adults who got regular strength shots. The final word will come from the CDC director. If she gives the green light, that Pfizer vaccine will be given to young kids. Now that the key FDA advisory committee has approved the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine for children ages 5 to 11, Healthcare professionals may soon roll out the vaccine. And James Wood with Riley Children's Hospital says they're ready. Getting these kids vaccinated is going to go a long way to getting this under control and getting us back to a somewhat normal um, way of life. The vaccine consists of two shots of a lower dose. And they found that that smaller dose um, was just as effective in kids. Wood understands some parents' hesitancy to vaccinate their child right away. But he says studies have shown the Pfizer vaccine is nearly 91% effective at preventing symptomatic infection. He wants parents to think about risk versus benefit. The number of hospitalizations in kids is not small. And though some of those kids had pre-existing conditions, Many of them didn't, and so it's really hard to predict exactly who is going to get severe disease. That's one reason why Rebecca Jade is choosing to vaccinate her nine-year-old when approved. I'm a parent. I want to do everything I can to protect my child, um, and this is one of the things he's fully immunized against. All the other things he can be immunized for, um, so to me it kind of makes sense for this one especially um, because we don't yet know what the long term effects of COVID would be. And even though children are at a lower risk of suffering severe COVID symptoms, they play a big part in spreading the virus. Evidence is showing that kids, um, especially with the Delta wave, um, are able to spread it pretty easily and are able to spread it um, to other members of the family that may be at high risk of disease. I don't think it will make us drop our guard completely whilst there's still a fair amount of community spread. I think we're still going to err on the side of caution, but it will at least be a layer of protection. So you might be wondering, what about the other vaccine makers? Are they trying to get their product approved for kids too? This is what we know. Moderna announced on Monday that their vaccine trial for school-age kids showed smaller doses generated a strong immune response in kids 6 to 11. Participants were given two 50 microgram doses of Moderna's vaccine, and those were administered 28 days apart. That's about half the size of the dose that's given to adults. The company plans to submit the results of their trial to the FDA soon. And what about J&J? &J? Well, that company is also working to get its vaccine approved for kids. That's not expected, however, until next year, 2022. Again, we're still waiting on that final approval for those kid-sized doses of the Pfizer vaccine for young children. And remember, you can get links to all the latest updates that we've got about boosters, and we can send them right to your phone. Just text the word vaccine to the number you see here, and that wraps up tonight's big story.